Welcome to the channel. My name is Nick and I'm a top author on Trading Room with over 260k reputation points. And every day I share a lot of free education and analysis for all of you. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on all this free content. And I will see you on the chart. In today's video, I will be speaking about NZD JPY. Now, why do I want to speak about NZD JPY? Because at the moment, we do have quite interesting price action and structure. So, what I will be doing is, as usual, providing a complete multi time frame top down analysis, starting from the higher time frames, then going down on the lower ones. We will also check what we have from a COT perspective. So, commitment of traders, which is basically what hedge funds and the non-commercials in the market are doing. And by the end of the video, by using the combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for a potential move here on the pair. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that the market has just created a very strong impulse to the upside, followed by this correction. Now, in general, after an impulse, you have to measure the correction. And to do that, you have to take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg. And what we can see here is that if we do that, we can notice how the market has just retraced exactly to the 0.382 of the Fibonacci taken on this monthly impulse, which is a quite strong support zone, which in fact the market tested and then started rejecting to the upside. So here in the monthly, the pattern definitely seems quite bullish and we can expect more continuation to the upside, possibly even for the creation of a higher high. Going down on the weekly time frame, what do we have? Now here in the weekly time frame, we can see how the market has just created a strong impulse to the upside, followed by this correction. Now in general, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, you have to take a Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse. And if we do that, what we can see is that the market here has just retraced exactly to the zone, which is in between the 0.32 and 50% of the Fibonacci taken on this weekly impulse, which is a quite strong area of support and demand that you did expect the market to test before then starting a potential rejection to the upside. So also the weekly seems quite bullish for the potential completion of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. Just a quick thing, make sure that you like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below any suggestions for new videos. Now, if we go down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Now here in the daily, we can see how the market has just created this M pattern. Now, generally speaking, after the creation of an M pattern, you want to see the market create a move to the upside to go and complete the pattern at the previous support turned resistance, meaning that here in the daily, we definitely expect the market to provide a potential rejection to the upside to go and complete the pattern at this previous support turned resistance. Now, if we go and see what we have from a COT perspective, so commitment of traders, which is basically what hedge funds, the non-commercials, and in general, the biggest speculators in the market, what we can see is that lately the net position, net positioning has just shifted from being negative to being positive. What does it mean? It means that we went from having more shorts than longs from an institutional perspective on the NZD with 19K shorts and 17K longs, which turned out to be 11K shorts and 17K longs. So you can clearly see how here we had more shorts than longs and now we have more longs than shorts, making the net positioning become positive, meaning that overall hedge funds are quite bullish on the NZD. And if we go and see what we have on the JPY, we can see how the JPY just reached minus 60K net positions with 82K shorts and 21K longs. So we have a weak JPY and a potential strong NZD, which means that we can definitely expect a completion of this M pattern, or at least we can expect the market to reach the 0.382 of the Fibonacci taken on this daily impulse. So how we will be approaching this potential short-term longing opportunity here on NZDJPY with students. Now, as usual, we will be reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily combined with the COT data, those are the best timeframes from a directional perspective. However, 
when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frames are the four hour and the other intraday time frames. So inside of here, what we will be doing with students is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bearish market as we have right now to an intraday bullish market. And only if the market will shift from an intraday bearish to an intraday bullish market, only at that point, we will be adding NZDJPY to our watch list. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be taking a nice long with a good risk to reward and good probabilities at that point for the move to the upside and for the market to retrace at least to the 0.382 of the Fibonacci taken on this daily impulse. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free analysis, education, and updates for all of you. You can also go and check out the mentorship program. The link is in the description. It's a very complete program. First, you learn all the rules of my rule-based strategies. Then, Every single day, you get a new daily market breakdown showing you how to apply the strategies in live market. And you also get your questions answered every day in the daily Q&A session. So it's a very complete program. I really suggest that you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in it.